And so I wanted to make something to kind of help us to get our lives in order, kind of get to that next place. And so this kind of was that bridging of the gap where I didn't feel gross when I went to Target or when I went to HEB, you know, I felt that's, that's something better about myself. Adulting is Hard podcast. I'm Alita, and this is my friend Amorous, and I'm super excited to have her on the podcast because she's a local friends with mom, but she actually came to me via a product that we carry in the store. So we're going to talk about that today. So, so introduce yourself and what the names of your product is and kind of give us a little bit of how we got to this point. Well, it's called Gym Hair, and basically I started it as a need for myself. I was working out, and I had two young kids at the time. They were, I think, two and four, um, and so what happened was I was doing a CrossFit workout and right after that we had swim practice and it was August here down in Houston. Right. So very hot. So I was super sweaty. And then we were going to, um, their swim class and their swim school keeps it kind of like a sauna so that the kids don't get cold when they get out of the water, you know? So I knew it was just going to be a terrible, sweaty, nasty day. So I was looking around my purse for something just to kind of put in my hair in the, in the meantime, cause I was nasty uh, to, <laughs> right. So whatever. But anyways, um, and I just used a baby wipe and went from there and I made a mental note to look online for something for sweaty hair. Um, so that night after the kids went to bed, I looked online and all I saw was dry shampoo or regular shampoo. There was nothing that kind of bridged that gap, something for wet, sweaty hair. And if you know dry shampoo, it's something that's very powdery and you put it in your hair and it's just kind of got like this thick texture to and it. And for someone with curly hair like mine, yeah. when you put dry shampoo in your hair, it's got powder in it and it takes the moisture out of it for days and days and days. So dry yeah. shampoo is not an option for me, but I definitely, I take my hair, hair out of my helmet. Like when I'm playing roller derby and it right. stinks. And if I've got somewhere to go, I mean, it legit smells and it's gross. Yeah. So that's kind of where this product comes in. It comes in a small bottle. Let's see. It comes, it comes in a small bottle like this. Yep. And what, how is it formulated? Like wh so what do you have in here? Yeah. So it's water-based and I wanted to keep it as safe and natural as possible. Cause I also wanted to use it on my kids. Um, so it's based, it's, a fine mist spray. You just use it a few times at the roots. What I do is I section my hair, kind of spray it through it a little bit, massage it through to the scalp. And then I just let it air dry. Cause honestly, I don't have time to do anything else, but I have people that tell me that they blow dry it. They style it afterwards. Um, more power to you if the you have time to do that, but I never do. So, uh, yeah, it's got, um, things like witch hazel in it mm -hmm. and it's all alcohol free. So we use the non-alcohol version of witch hazel, um, aloe vera, this really cool ingredient called Z zinc PCA, okay. which is very good for hair health and growth. Um, and then things like rosemary and tea tree, it's got antibacterial properties. And one of the ingredients is also found in baby shampoo. So throw that all together. It's just very light. It's not going to leave any sort of product in your hair when you're washing your hair. Cause you know, with dry shampoo, it kind of feels that ickiness to for get days, out, right? For days. <laughs> yeah. It's really hard to get yeah. out. So this is nothing. It's just going to dry clean and, um, it lets you just kind of get on with your day. And so people do tell me that they go longer without washing their hair just by using the product. Absolutely. And one of the things that I love about Amorous is cause she walked into my store one day and wanted to know if she could put it on my shelves. Could we, I don't remember exactly how the conversation came about, but I see a lot of people, if I'm being honest, a lot of people come to me with ideas, but what they don't do is they don't leave and come back with what I've asked them to do. But Amherst did, she came back, she made points of sales. She got me a display and she taught me how to sell her products. And one of the things that I'm super proud of her about is after that, we were able to make a connection with a large, um, repping group in Dallas. And yeah. she actually put it in a showroom as well. So this is available in several boutiques. Uh -huh. It's available also on your online store. And it's also yeah. been featured in some boxes and stuff. Where are some of the yeah. places that you've had it featured? Yeah. So right when we first started, um, I got asked to be in a box called the Barbella box. Okay. And that is a huge subscription box for female, mainly CrossFitters, but like weightlifters and people like that. So it's a female oriented box. And so when we first started, we had to do 10,000, um, bottles out. To I remember them, that <laughs> yeah. like ASAP, which was 
trying being a startup, but it was cool. It gained a lot of exposure. And so from there, we got asked to be in different events like CrossFit events. Um, so we did that. We also got featured in Real Simple um, on their website as products you have to have, the greatest, um, the Peloton fan page, and then other CrossFit fan pages like Street Parking and things like that. So it's been kind of a big word of mouth. And um, I've been asked to be in different places like California for celebrity bloggers but it's just a matter of kind of picking and choosing where to go and kind of where to put my funds, I guess. Well, and how to navigate the marketing. social world because yes. that's a, that's a huge thing. I mean, as a small business owner and as a product developer right. is, is how do you spend your social media um, money and, and how do you streamline it into a process? Right. So after this product, we, we talked again about, Hey, what would, I mean, what would you think about doing a beard product? Yeah. So talk to me about that product. Cause yeah. you did come out with a beard product. Yes, yeah. you did. And so that is, is uh, is a beard cleanser. So okay. it's, it's kind of the same concept, but it goes in a beard, but men can also use it in their hair if they still have hair left. Cause a lot of my guys don't, um, and that's fine. Um, so, but they use it in their, in their beard and it's just a natural way to clean it, but it also has beard, um, growth ingredients in it as well. So a lot of the times they've, I've been told that they want to limit the amount of products that they put into the beard. Um, but also have good products. That's not drying or anything like that. So this is really good for beard hair. Growth it's exactly hair. like curly hair. I mean, beard hair is coarse, dry hair. And right. so if you strip out all the moisture out of it, it gets coarse and dry, just like right. everything else. So I think it's really cool that you develop the same product that can be used for men's men's beards as well. Right. Now, of course, always every, every boutique owner wants to know what's next, what's yeah. next. So, because that's how product growth works. So I think you have something in the works, don't do. you? Okay. Yeah, tell me what you do. have coming up. So it's two guys and they are, I call them guys. Mm -hmm. Um, they're all my children, but there it's two, two more It's two cents and they're for kids. It's going to be one called orange crush. And then the other one's white sands. So they're a little more friendly. Um, kid sense, a little okay. more kind of light and fun and airy. And they're going to be very different as far as packaging goes, because they're going to be in a different type of bottle, but they're also going to have a very bright metallic -y sort of label on it. So very eye catching. Um, but that is going to hit very soon. I would say within the next month or two. Woohoo. That means the funky monkey will have it before Christmas time. So yeah. that makes me excited because yeah. we, we still carry this product, but I'm always looking for, for innovative, particularly women. I mean, I'm not, I'm not opposed to men, but I mean, I particularly like strong women that this is not what your degree was in, right? No, not at all. No, I was a fitness major. Right. And so, I mean, we just, I think that a lot of times the best products come out of personal needs. It's kind of like, you know, right. I mean, you needed something. So you went out and found what it was and, and developed it yourself. And I think this is a really great product, y'all. If you're not follow, tell us where they can find you on social media. So it's at Jim hair TM for okay. trademark, but it's both on Facebook and Instagram. And we'll hook you up on this podcast with all of that information and where you can buy this product friend. But I mean, I really think that if you are a boutique owner and you're looking for innovative products to put into your store, this is one of them. You, this is a product. It's an easy price point. How, what do we sell them out? 12 99. 12 99 is what we sell them at. Um, it, Amaris does a good job of marketing herself so we can use her social media to help us. And, um, I just, I think that the idea of having, um, young, innovative females, um, <laughs> is alluring to me and I, and I appreciate you coming on the podcast. Thank you have you. anything else you'd like to share? Um, yeah, sure. So in a nutshell, you know, I had created this for myself, but, um, at the time that I created this, like I said, I had two young kids and working out was kind of my one escape. It was my one way to not only just kind of get away from the kids, because I, like I said, they were two and four and those are really hard ages. You know, um, I was sort of new to a certain area. We were in Lake city at the time. And, um, I found this group of women at CrossFit and we really connected and it kind of brought this passion back into my life where I was excited to go somewhere. I was excited to see people just talk to adults again. Um, and so I was making it a, a habit of mine to go, to go to CrossFit, to go work out, to see these people. Um, and that's kind of the, the target group that I had to, uh, women that were moms that were hustling, that were working, or, um, there have, I had moms that were, um, that were in real estate moms that were in the restaurant industry. Um, and so I wanted to make something to kind of help us to 
get our lives in order, kind of get to that next place. And so this kind of was that bridging of the gap where I didn't feel gross when I went to Target or when I went to HEB, you know, I felt that's, that's something better that, about myself. And that's something that we don't talk about a lot when, I mean, when moms are, have young kids, the, the, just the day in and day out is so hard and the connection yeah. to each other. But what I love about this story is that out of that, we all know what it's like to have a two and a four year old. If you've had young children, right. that's intense. Out of that, you brought together a female owned and operated company and, and you're bringing together a community of women that, that all have things in common. They're all trying to do fitness to, to better themselves right. for their mental health, for all of those things. And so that's a pretty, that's a pretty cool way to come up with a product. Yeah. 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 And so it, yeah, it served that purpose and, um, hopefully a lot more, you know, with the kid line and all that. And I would, I, me personally, we have a lot of sports in our family. And so we are always busy on Saturday mornings and my kids are always sweaty mess. Even, even November, October, you know, we're still sweaty. So cause you're going from one event to the other yes. all the time. And you're trying to fit in time. That is mom time. I mean, yeah. I know that for me, when I'm skating, it's genuinely some of the only time that I get in my day that I'm not being asked to do something by right. 10 other people. And so it's, it's a connection with another group of, um, women in particular. Right. And, and I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. So if people are interested in this product, what are some, what are the best ways to get, get in contact with you? I know I, I have the product in my store, but yeah. there's definitely ways they can see you in other places. Where is that? Yeah. So we have a website, mygymhair.com, And then I have a social media, I mean, a Instagram and a Facebook page. Instagram is kind of a majority of where we post pictures and things like that. And so that's at gym hair TM okay. for both Facebook and Instagram. Um, I'm, trying to get better about social media and getting more pictures and more fun stuff on there. So, um, and a lot of that comes from people using the product. Yes. I mean, doesn't that help you? I mean, I know that when I, when I get real life photos of people using the product, that's one yes. way that they can really help small businesses and small product lines out. It's, is sending us photos of the product in use. Yeah. Sending it. And then I get pictures sent um, to my direct message or DMS. Um, and then I will post those, but also tagging me. If you can tag, tag the product tag at Jim air TM on there. Um, that's a great way to kind of spread the word. Yeah. No, I always love a hustler. I mean, there's something to me. I mean, I, I'm not going to say that in small business, you ever get it right the first or the second, or even the yeah, third time. Um, but I like people that are persistent. I like people that take feedback and I like people that come back and show me that they've done what they've done. And you are one of those people. So you made me really Thanks. proud and oh, thank um, you. I'm glad that you came on. And so remember yeah. to live happier because adulting is hard and we'll see you next week.